Hi, I'm Rabbi Alon Ferenczi speaking to you from Heskim in a synagogue, Knoxville, Tennessee. Speaking to you about Parshat Toldot, roughly in the chapters 25 through 28 in the book of Genesis. This section contains some of my favorite lines in all of our Torah. When Rebecca is struggling to conceive and then finally has Esav and Jacob in her womb, and the twins grapple within her, she can't figure out what's going on. She's been struggling to conceive perhaps for two decades. She's far away from the women of her family, the nursemaids and others who might have helped her navigate a difficult pregnancy. She cries out to God, Im ken lama ze anochi, vatelech lidrosh et Hashem. She calls out, if this is so, if my life is thus, why am I? Why am I made? And she went to inquire of God. As I've said elsewhere, this to me is the fundamental principle of theology, that we acknowledge the reality of the world as it is, the difficulty, the challenges, its grace and beauty, of course, as well. And rather than rejecting and stepping away from religion and spirituality, we turn ourselves into it, as she did, to turn, to face, to walk towards God with our questions, with our difficulties, with our frustrations. <clears throat> it's a very powerful and beautiful moment, and single, singly, in that it's conveyed also by a woman, an unusual experience for a woman's voice in our Torah, making it all the more beautiful, I think, in some ways. Later, as she prepares her mischief between Esav and Jacob to convince Isaac to give the birthright and Elf's blessing to Jacob instead of his elder Esav, Jacob averse. He's nervous. He's nervous that he'll be caught in this trap, in this plan and scheme, and his father will reject him. And Rebecca there says, your curse will be upon me. I think when we engage in the work of theology, spirituality, and religion, when we turn toward God in the question, we also, in so doing, accept upon ourselves the difficulties of the world, its many troubles and tribulations. And so the process of theology is one of not rejection, but stepping deeper into the world and its mysteries. I hope that's something you'll begin, continue, and consider this Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom. If you like talks like this and others, please do like, share, and subscribe to Eclectic Cleric, one word, on YouTube.